Hey guys, it's Will. And I'm Mike. Special ranking here for you. We're going to be ranking all of the movies in the Friday the 13th series. Very excited about this. I think we're, well, I'm a big fan of this series. Do you consider yourself a big fan of this series? I'm a, I don't know, intermediate fan of this series. Uh, I, I was probably my favorite horror series, honestly. Um, yeah, it yeah, probably is. Probably, yeah, yeah, if I think about it. Uh, I just love Jason. And it's, I, fit, it's, so. it's like hit and miss for me, but, you know, we'll see that as we go through but, the uh, well, Okay, but here's my thing. There's no horror series where they're all good. That's true. Right? That's very true. Um, so, I, but I think you have to go first, because I think that you're I just... rated all 12, which includes... My list has 10 things. <laughs> so And uh, he'll talk about that when we get to him again, so don't look at my list. I'm going to hide it. Okay, he's going to uh, hide his list. Mine's me. a little more old-fashioned than Will's, so... Uh, mine's on my phone. Let's start from the number 12. For me, number 12 is Friday the 13th, A New Beginning, which is part 5. That's the one where uh, Tommy goes to that halfway house, and... You think that movie is worse than Jason that, 10? That's the worst movie in the no, franchise for me. There's no universe it's, in which that movie is worse than Jason it 10. It is. To me, no. it's horrible. That movie's horrible. Um, there is a, spoiler alert, Jason's not the killer. There is no Jason in that movie. It's just some random EMT. There are other Friday the 13th movies without Jason, though. I know, but this there's one's the worst. There's at least two other ones. Well, this one's the worst. This is my list. What's Is this a... Where is it's, this? No, it's just triggering me. I'm infuriated. Right, good. good. Hopefully it triggers everyone else. To me, it was the worst by far. There's only one scene in it that I liked when uh, he goes to the lunch or whatever they're having with the rest of the, the halfway house people. And one of them makes fun of him. And he just goes ham and whoops his ass for some reason. He can fight in this movie. It's not explained why. But uh, everything else about the movie was just trash. It was horrible. I don't disagree with you that it's trash, but it's not okay. It's horrible. All right, number 11, since you don't have an 11. For me, number 11 is Friday the 13th, Part 7, The New Blood. It's the seventh this one. This just made. makes no sense. It's horrible. No, it's not. A, it's, it's not. And B, there's no. First of all, Freddy vs. Jason is not even a real Jason movie. It's I don't just care. It's a trash ass fucking cash grab, so and it sucks. All of them are. Cash no, grabs but it's no, after it's, the first, it's like, heinously one or two. Bull crass. No, because they're t oh, this is just painful. Part seven for me. You're was just, just doing terrible. this to piss people off because we care. watched part seven together and you didn't mind it. I didn't mind. You're it. just a hog. Well, this is so. So I want to preface this by saying, like, f the new beginning. I think it's a horrible movie. I would never watch it again. The new blood. You would watch Jason Ten again? Yeah, I've watched no, Jason Blood multiple times. It's like the worst movie ever no, made. Disagreed. We've watched Death Stalker and it's worse than Officer that. Down. It, it's oh, it's not nothing is as bad as Officer <laughs> exactly. Down. Exactly. It's worse than Death Stalker. No. Yes, it is. No. Okay, so, so that's for me the new blood. Um, the idea of someone having powers and being able to stand up to Jason was cool. The execution was bad. Half the film, they were running back and forth in the same wooded section. Is that worse than Jason 10? And the the ending where the dad comes out of nowhere for some reason, he's in the lake and he can come back. It's just trash. Horrible. Shitty kills, shitty movie. So, number 10? You're just is, saying that. You know you're just saying no, that. No, I'm not saying that. Off. I'm not saying you're that. You're just this saying is, that to piss I, people I, off. I read about you all the movies because I read, watched all the movies. You just watched them. Why are you reading about because them? Because I wanted a, a refresher of no. all the movies just so it's I made my list hog. right. I made my list just twice. Just a hog. I made my list twice, actually, and these two were always on the bottom. Just a hog. So, number 10 for me is Jason X. Uh... It's one of the worst movies ever made. I know, and the other ever. two it's worst better, movies no, ever made are the ones I mentioned. It's that movie is so bad that it's not even worth watching as a bad movie. Nah, I disagree. It's like the worst late 90s, early 2000s music video ever. I know, but it's... It's just horrible. But it's better than those other two. No, it's not. It is. It really isn't. It is. What do you, uh, we'll see what people say to this, but for me, number 10 is Jason X. Um, it's not a good movie. It's, it's really trashy. It's... Uh, the production values suck. Those, those, uh, so the mid to late nineties and early two thousands suffered from like CGI becoming more prevalent, but people sucking at well, it. It's so like those the, movies it's all like look bad. It's like the low point of pop culture. Period. It's yeah. like boy bands. But like, it's new but like metal. in the eighties, it was like they still did practical effects. So that stuff holds up. The stuff from like the mid nineties to early two thousand always looks bad because it's like the first few years of CGI well, and it just Matrix looks like shit. Good. Yeah, but The Matrix was a huge budget film. This thing probably was like a $5 million movie. So that's my number 10, Jason X. What about you? 
Jeez. I have the re- the reboot remake from 2009 at number 10. You're going to get some hate for that. I, it's not a bad movie, but in my mind, if you're saying we're ranking the Friday the 13th series, that's 1 through 9. That is the series. That's, yeah. Because 10 came out like 10 years later. It, different producers, like different everything. And it's just like this thing that exists simply because someone had the intellectual property rights and was like, I'm going to go make this movie. So to me, even if you think that 7 and 5 are worse movies, they can't be worse because they're at least in the continuum of what it was supposed to be instead of just a horrible piece of trash that was shat out by corporate machinery because someone owned the rights to it. Um, so again, the reboot I don't think is a bad movie. Like I really enjoyed it the first time I saw it. I bought, it's on Netflix right now, I think. I, no I watched idea. it on Netflix not too long ago, and I enjoyed it again. Uh, it's really violent. It's um, very violent. It's really silly. Uh, like in certain parts, like some of the characters are really goofy and entertaining. I think it's the high. Is it the highest grossing movie in the series? It probably. did pretty well when it came I, it out. It probably is. I mean, but... obviously, you have the fact that it came out thirty years later, so like it's making more money because people are spending more money on movies because tickets are more expensive. But um, I just I don't dislike it. I just don't think if I'm ranking the, the Friday the Thirteenth series to me, that is absolutely like the first nine, and that's it. I don't count anything. else. Well, I do, and it's diff- it's elsewhere for me. So I don't know why you're making them pig noises. Because you're just being a belligerent hog and doing it's, whatever it's you want true. for the sake of hoggery. It's my ranking, it's right? Like the hog in the wallow. It's my ranking. We'll see who's rooting for truffles. So all right. So should we go to number nine? Do it. Yeah. So for me, <laughs> you're not gonna be happy with this either. For me, number nine is uh, Jason Goes to Hell: The Final Friday, which is number nine in the series. Uh-huh. That's the one where. Uh, <clears throat> That like corner eats him for some reason, and like his spirit well, he takes gets over. Killed yeah, and they cut his heart out, and, and like the corner eats his heart. And his yeah. spirit, it's like it's a lot more supernatural. Where it's like he's like a presence, and he invades people and takes over, and they mm-hmm. go kill. It's this isn't actually a bad movie, and the Necronomicon I, is in it. From yeah, Evil for Dead. some reason, <laughs> I actually enjoy this movie. The Duke was there's a Duke in it who's hunting him for some reason, and then he's not really that formidable at all, which is kind of a letdown. But like, like it's not a bad movie. I actually quite enjoyed it. So every kind of movie up from here are movies that I actually enjoy and will watch again. Um, but you know, it's a ranking. We have to put it somewhere, and I think the other movies are better than it. Um, just because you think Freddy vs. Jason is better than that movie? Yeah, because Freddy vs. Jason no. is like a guilty pleasure of just trash. No. So, so oh man, you're gonna be enraged by the rest of my list. Then okay. it's amazing. It's gonna be good. You're in for a treat, everybody. Number nine. Yeah, I what's have zero nine? Part five. It's a bad movie. It's terrible. But it's not worse than... You were just trashing me, a, and now you're saying it's, it's a bad movie. It's not worse than those other movies. It's so That's worse. the point. Nah, it's, it's relative. Worse. It's, it's not a good movie. It's bad, and it's stupid, it's and bad. Jason's not in it. It doesn't make any sense. Remember when that um, the tubby kid got killed in the beginning, and no one seemed to care? No one cared at all. At all. At all. Except the EMT guy. Uh... Spoiler alert. Spoiler. I don't, um, don't watch this. But, yeah, if, 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 if spoilers are... It's just are not... Really... I, and I remember the first time I watched the entire Jason series. I had seen individual movies in the series. The first time I watched the whole series all the way through was the summer after I graduated from college. And I still remember thinking then, and I was just like, so I, there I, there was a video store down the street from my house, and right next to that was a liquor store. So my friend and I would go and we would get 40s, mm. and we would rent movies, and we would just drink and watch trashy horror movies. Like, we weren't trying to like in, appreciate them as cinema where like this is just have fun and even then i was like <laughs> yeah, this movie movie. sucks yeah it it was bad i don't think we need to talk more about it it's nope. a bad movie so we're, we're at number eight yeah oh uh, you're gonna hate this so for number eight i have uh friday the 13th part eight jason takes manhattan uh we actually watched this not too long ago um and the part well first of all there's not, like, I know he's in Manhattan, but you see, like, two streets and then, like, Times Square for, like, two minutes. The other, like, 80% of the movie is on, on a boat, boat and it's yeah. kind of boring. Well, and also, like, there's supposed to be an upstate New York, because they do say we're going downstate, yeah. right? But there's, like, 20,000-foot mountains. Like, there's they're obviously in, like, the... Vancouver or, like, Alaska yeah, or yeah. somewhere. Uh, <laughs> like, there are mountains in upstate New York, but they're not, like, 20,000-foot tall mountains. No. They're, like, 3,000-foot. And, 3, and I always get confused, like, because, like, to me, Jason just like if you're in his way, he's gonna kill you, right? But like in this movie, there's scenes where he's like presented with the opportunity to kill people, and he just he's only killing these like two or three people, and they have really nothing to do with him. So it's like, why is he hell bent? Like once he gets to New York, he should just go ham right on everybody around. Well, him, they wake right? him up, don't they? Yeah, but that's like thank you, thank you for boat. waking me up. All right, but he doesn't like. It well, but it's come weird. on, some of it like when he's in Times Square. And he shows those kids his face. Yeah. That's just 
But why wouldn't he for, kill him? Because it's just a joke. I know, I know. I know, this movie is a lot more, is, is basically a comedy, right? It's not scary at all. The, well, and like, why are the they, scene why where are he there punches like, him and his head flies like a off. high school senior, like the, one of the plot devices is that they have to present their final projects to the principal on the boat, right? It's so And the girl is, tries to seduce him or something, or say, what is that? She <laughs> tries like, to seduce him. So and, and he, like, little nerd with the video camera tapes it. And, and he's like, yeah. He I will say, I, some of the kills in the movie, in the movie are pretty the good. The guitar. The guitar's fun where he, that kid with the camera gets thrown and well, he's the like Well, the best one is the boxing, yeah, the which boxing. is one of the best kills in the goes, whole psh, series. Like, and the head goes flying. Yeah. If you watched uh, the uh, Friday the 13th edit I make, it's in that the kills. Play that edit. Yeah, yeah, go watch that if you haven't watched it yet. So that's eight for me. What's eight for you? Uh, nine. Part nine. Part nine. Um, I don't dislike, again, like you said, I think that part nine is a really good movie. It just doesn't, like, it doesn't feel like a Jason movie even though he's in it. And, yeah. like, the scene in the diner, I thought was awesome. That Remember was that fun. scene? That was fun. Um, and the scene in the house at the end. Like, it's a... That movie, to me, is, like... Because didn't... I, was Sam Raimi, like, a producer on that movie? I feel he like he had been. something to do with that movie. And, like, Sam Raimi's obvious, like, affection for trash movies and, like, grindhouse movies, but also, like, really old horror, like, Hammer, Universal Horror, like, the monster movies. Yeah. Like, I see all of that in there, and I really appreciate it, but if you're ranking the Jason movies as Jason movies, I have to put it near the It box. feels like a collection of good scenes tied together with crappy transitions this and, police and a station weak scene plot. is really good too yeah because like the, well they the all have weak the, plots. Yeah, I mean, but you know Come what i mean like, the set pieces are good like the diner the yeah. police station the house good oh we all the plot. stuff in between <laughs> none of them have plots not my it's top just ones murder not my top ones all right so that was eight right yeah so number seven for me maybe a controversial pick is uh friday the 13th part one the very first that's one that's actually my number that, seven too. that kicked it off i think like it gets it's regarded better because it kicked off the whole franchise. Mm -hmm. But if you go back and watch it, it's not a great, not a great no, film. No, I mean the best part for me is when Kevin Bacon gets the arrow through his. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, and and again, like we were talking about, it's not really a Jason film because spoiler alert, yeah. the killer is his mom. He's it's not, not actually it. Jason. Yeah. He's not in until the very end. Which um, I just realized I've been I've been rewatching the Scream movies, and in the second Scream movie. The killer is the mom. Yeah. The kid from the first movie. And it's almost like a spoof on yeah. Jason because it's like, well, we'll kill the killer and then the mom the will mom. be the killer. Yeah. So so while it got everything going, I don't think by its, if it was a standalone film without any sequels, no, it's just it like, wouldn't be a very it's good like film. It's like a really low budget because it came out in 1980, right? Yeah, like, it, it, it tried it's to be Halloween, like, but it's not. It's like the tail end of 70s Grindhouse, basically. Yeah. And it's not like it was before these movies started getting more investment in them. Like if you watch... Uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, which was 84, right? Like, there's obviously some money being put into Definitely. that. Like, the gore effects are really good. There's lots of makeup, the costumes. Like, with the first Jason movie, it was like... And actually... You in, don't really see the killer. It's like the, you see a POV, the, right? In Search of Darkness, right? Yeah. That horror documentary that's coming out. Um, there's And if you're watching this on Instagram, actually, I think there's a link in our bio to, there, yeah. to where you can go and find out more about that. Because um, Mike actually ordered... I definitely the Blu-ray. We'll definitely we're, do a we're uh, review really excited of it. to watch that. Yeah, but um, the, there's a clip that they put out where they're interviewing the people who involved in the first Friday the Thirteenth movie. And the director's like, "We had no idea this would be a hit. Right. Like it was, we had no money. Just, we didn't know who the audience was. Like we had no idea what it's was. It's just an it's early just like, trash. There's just like a trashy film. script about these people being yeah, murdered, it's just and it's trash. Like, yeah. So. So, yeah, we agree on one. Yep. Part what do you seven. have for six? Number six, I have uh, Friday the 13th, part three. Okay. Uh, that's the 3D. Yeah, in 3D. Uh, we didn't watch it in 3D. That's the <laughs> one. What I remember well about it is uh, that's the uh, the one with the bikers. Um, <laughs> yep. And I think it's the first one he has. That's where he gets his mask, his right? Because he he, he's, like, um, stumbling around in a store. The biker stuff is confusing because they really had nothing to do with the plot. They just kind of stumble in. Yeah. But I thought the... Um, well, Some of the scenes like, were fun, and I thought the the whole kind of ending battle between like the main girl, I forgot her name, and and Jason's pretty good because they kind of it's kind of long. Like he she keeps getting away from him and hiding it's and the climbing barn, right? and in yeah. the barn, mm -hmm. and then she hangs him and he comes off, and so it's like it's pretty yeah. cool. It's a, it's a pretty good movie. Um, What's your number? Six, what are we on now? Six. Number six. I have part eight. Uh, well, I mean, I think we said enough about that movie. Like, I think that movie is interesting to me because some aspects of it are really, really... Like, the cinematography, I think, is really good in that mm -hmm. movie. And, like, the visual design. And, like, it's visually more distinct than a lot of Jason movies. But then there are elements to it, too, where you're just like... 
it's too ridiculous. Yeah. Even, like the script is like terrible, ridiculous slasher movie script. The director and the cinematographer and like the I guess like the technical people involved felt like they were making a really good movie and it's like it's at odds like it, it's what about weird, that guy in the boat but... who keeps telling them they're gonna die for no reason <laughs> i forgot about that guy that was the best guy in the movie it's just a weird like it's like he has and the there's, shining like remember there's the whole thing where like one of the kids dads is the captain of the boat yeah and, and, and you have this kind of like 80s movie trope of like a coming of age thing he's almost. like the charlie sheen character almost from like the brat pack movies who like you know, is a rebel and not doing what his dad wants him to do. And, like, mm-hmm. I, I just feel like they tried to do everything that you would do in an 80s movie, and it's just it's not all working. Yeah. All right. Number five? Yeah, five. You're about to be enraged. You ready? Why? Friday the 13th, part six, Jason no. Lynch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You don't even like these movies. You're just I like trying these to make movies. people mad. No, I'm you not. Don't. I'm You're not. You're just a hog trolling I've people. Seen, I've seen tons of horror films. That this doesn't is mean you great like ranking. them. I like you're them. Just, I love you're them. You're just a sociopath. You like to watch murder. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's funny when people die. Um, so, part six. It's just a, a hog. A fun movie, but basically, we've, we've talked about this before. Part six is basically a satire. And it's like it's like a comedy. There's like nothing serious or scary about it. None of them are scary. None of them. Yeah, most slasher films in general aren't scary. Most and, horror movies aren't scary. Yeah. Um, but uh, but this one's just like ramps it up, and it's meant to be a comedy. You're meant to laugh throughout. You're meant to root for Jason, not any of the kids. It has some. It the does. Little, you don't want the little kids. To no, die. not the little kids. But it has some really cool uh, death scenes. I think my favorite one is when uh, the cop. The dad of the of the, the main oh, girl, yeah. and he kind of like she folds. folds it's so br- like the thought of that is just like really brutal. And the whole the opening set in that graveyard and it looks like a fucking old like, it's like gothic Frankenstein camera or something. Frankenstein yeah, it's movie. Amazing. It's pretty cool. What a hog! Well, He's just I can't people. make everything He's number trolling one. People. Can't make everything number one. What was that? Five. That's five. Would you put? Five? I have number seven. <laughs> I like seven because seven was so seven was supposed to be like a fire starter type. Yeah. Movie about a woman with psychic powers and like her trauma. And then they were like, well, let's make it a Jason movie. And so you have her fighting Jason, which is just, it's an interesting twist on like the formula of people in the woods. And you have like the evil psychiatrist who's like trying to manipulate her. Yeah. And he's got their, I, I thought it was interesting. I'm not I don't think it's like a great movie, but it's, I would say that that is more interesting than any of the other movies I've listed so far, just in terms of the concept of it. Like, I'm more intrigued to see what happens with that than I am than any of the other movies I've listed before. Well, it's okay to be wrong. Right, to no, be wrong? You yeah. just listed the best one as number six no, or something. Well, spoiler alert. Wild I wonder what number hog. one on Will's list is. All right, so number four? Are we number four now? Yeah. Number four, Freddy vs. Jason. There's no way There's that's the way. fourth best one. It's as ridiculous as uh, Jason Takes Manhattan in the sixth one. It's more. It's the super Freddy goofy. Freddie winks when he cuts his head off. Hell yeah. There's nothing in part eight that's that ridiculous. The head and flying. No. And yes. Jason really would knock your head off if he Not punched like you. Not like that. It's like yes, a smooth he would. cut. There's he like would a knock smooth his cut. Head off. There's no veins, it's nothing, amazing. no blood spurt. It's the, like a smooth the cut. The difference for me is that the Jason movies in the original series that are ridiculous are like lovingly so. And Freddy vs. Jason is like these morons who think that they're clever, but who clearly demonstrate through their ineptitude and everything that they do how moronic they are trying to be funny. Yeah. And it's just brutally offensive it's and awful. moronic. I, I can't put that movie on He doesn't my even list. rank it. Because it's, it's just a, it's garbage. I want even everyone exist. wanted to see Freddy vs. Jason. They finally got it. It was a, com- and it's it was a comedy. It's horrible. There's some cool scenes in it. No, there's I'm nothing interesting four. about it at all. It's number four on it's my like list. For, it's like ten. It's like a trashy music video. It's way better than ten. Made by incompetent morons. It's way better than With ten. no redeemable anything about it at all. So what's your number four then? It's just horrible. Uh, part three, 3D. Okay. It's just fun. It's like, to me, that's like, movie. if you uh, knew the <clears> reputation <throat> of Jason movies, but you had never seen one and you saw that one, I feel like it would be exactly what you expected to see. It's yeah. Jason in a hockey mask in the woods killing people. Very small location. And it's like entertaining. Yeah. It's fun. It has the bikers for some reason. The bikers are fun, Like, though. whatever. But it is exactly <clears throat> what you expect it to be, and I think it's successful. Makes sense. Number three? Go, yeah. All right, for me, the third one is uh, Friday the 13th, the remake. <laughs> Because that's the not the third yeah, best yeah, one. Yeah, you're it such is. a hog. Because for me, you you are you tell it's out of the timeline for you. For me, the way I rank these is just by the movies just and a, the franchise. No way that's the and if you judge it by itself, no, I think it's, it's the third best it one. Is it is. Not. 
It's definitely the third best one. Just Settle a down. Hog. Um, just a belligerent animal. It was brutal. It's probably one of the most brutal Jason movies. It was dark. It was violent. It got the series. It brought the series back. It didn't because there hasn't been another one. No, will be. Don't worry. <laughs> so it didn't bring be. anything back. They brought it back for they, for, for one a movie. Couple, yeah, how that's much not, do you want? That's not bringing it that's back. Enough. That's but, uh, one movie. Yeah, I put it third. Hog. You're the that hog. That level of belligerence is just, it's like Well, impossible. what's your third one? Number two. <laughs> Number two? Yeah. All right. Um, it's, I just think it's a really good movie. It's innovative. It's violent. It's like the first one where you get Jason, mm-hmm. obviously. Yeah. And it's kind of like number three. Like I feel like two and three are very similar, but two is better. It's like it, minus the hockey mask. It's everything you would expect to see from a Jason movie. I think two is a little bit darker. It's I a little was... bit more disturbing. It's a little bit more violent. But I think that they're very kind of similar setups of like here's Camp Crystal Lake. Here's the woods. Here's people who need to die. Here's Jason go. and go. Yeah. Yeah. Can't argue with that because that is actually my number two. Is uh, Friday the Thirteenth Part Two? Uh, actually, it's weird because I think he's scarier with the with the. Well, because that's creepy. Right? It's creepy. He's he's also more human in it, right? Mm-hmm. Which which to me, like, like a movie about a serial killer or like a human, is a little scary because it's it's more believable. It's like there really could be this like disfigured well, dude in the not, woods. Yeah, he's not supernatural. He's not supernatural. One. He can be hurt and he can be hurt bad and he can be stopped. It's just he's a big dude and he's like chasing down these these teenagers who have like no chance of fighting him because he's he's massive and shit. But. Uh, and like you know, everything that Will said, there's some cool kills. The best ones probably well, and it, it the does wheelchair. Like, it, it does the like interesting the wheelchair digging into the. I thought that was in the third one. Is it? Wheelchair. No, I think it's in the second. I one. thought it was in the third one. The psychology the of Jason is like kind of comes and goes in the movies. Yeah, you kind of see his There's house. the whole thing where spoiler alert. Um, she does the. Mom she pretends thing. to be the mom, yeah. and it's that's how fun. she stops. It's yeah. pretty cool. It's pretty interesting. What's your number two? My number two is part four. Oh yeah. Which to me is like the ultimate Jason movie, I guess yeah. in a way. It's like, again, as I said with number three, like, but like to me that is the ultimate like, and it's directed by Joseph Zito, by the way. Fun fact: who directed Invasion USA, right? Um, but it's like, did he do? I, he Maniac? did some Chuck Norris movies. I thought he did Maniac too. No, that's William Lustig, isn't oh, yeah. it, who directed no. Maniac. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. Um, I think you're right. Friday the 13th Part 4 is like, there's no pretense of any story at all. It's like, here's young, hot people. They're in, in the, the house, woods. In the here's house. Jason. They have Corey Feldman is in it, right? Yeah. He's like the next door neighbor. Chris Spring Lovers um, in it. And it's like, <clears throat> he's just going to brutalize this people. It's a brutal people. film. It's violent. It's remorseless. And it's not like overly, because some movies, especially still like more recent stuff like the Texas Chainsaw Massacre remake, which is really gruesome, I feel like is violent simply because they're like, it's a horror movie, we have to make it like the most grotesque, disgusting right. thing ever. Like, I think this movie does a good job of being brutal and remorseless and like showing you what this is like and who this character is without being like exploitative and disgusting and like, I don't want to watch that. Right. It's like, walks the line really well. Um, but it's just like, to me, it is like the ultimate distilled essence of why people like these movies and what makes them good. And, so, it, you know, it's just awesome. Should we hop into our number ones? Well, I, I mean, it's pretty people obvious. People know now. People know. For me, it's Friday the 13th Part 4, <laughs> uh, mainly for a lot of the things you just said. It is like, if, you, if you're going to tell someone, it's like, no, they've never seen a Jason movie, and you're like, they can watch one to get what Friday the 13th is all about. That's the one they should watch because, like you said, you get Jason. He's really brutal. He's killing a bunch of people. It's a simple location. It, it's the the stereotypical teens he always goes after. It's really violent. All the, from the very beginning when he comes out of the morgue, and just like fucking chain like with uses like chain like a saw it's on that saw. guy's he head. Cuts the guy's head. Yeah. And like uh, the Crispin Glover, he gets like the. The corkscrew yeah. through his hand, and then like a, uh, like a machete through his face, and it's it's a very violent, brutal film, uh, and that's where we meet like Tommy Jarvis for the first time. He's like a he's little, the kid. He's, he's a Phelps, kid, right? and he yeah. goes ham on him in the end, yeah. which was <clears throat> in the fourth one. He's still kind of a human because because he kills yeah. him in mm-hmm. the end. Um, and well, again, it was supposed to be. I think that <clears throat> three and four were both originally intended to be the last Jason movies. Yeah, they probably just made and too then, much money in there. Well, right? and five is. Five doesn't have Jason in it, no. so they're obviously trying to break away from it, and, and then it, it didn't could. work. It just and then, didn't yeah. work. So is it? Well, part well, six to part me six, is yeah. the ultimate best Jason movie. 
This is one of my favorite movies ever. It's not just my favorite Jason movie. And it's there's like a million reasons and I could talk about it forever. I just to try to be as brief as I can. First of all, like Mike said, it's a satire. But not like a stupid spoof or like a parody. It's like a really good satire that is like aware of what it is and I think in order I mean like the perfect example of this is Robocop, right? Like in order to be a good satire you have to be the thing that you're satirizing, and you have to be aware of yourself, right. right? So, like, RoboCop is a really good action movie, but RoboCop is also very aware of the fact that it is a really violent action movie, and it is satirizing what that means to be that movie. And I think this does that really well, because I think that, like, the kills are really good, I think the atmosphere is really good, I think it looks really good, but it's also... Like, there's a scene where... When, when I tell people I think this movie's a great satire, they think I'm just making this up and that I'm just seeing things in it that don't really exist because mm-hmm. I'm, like, being too intellectual about it. There's a scene where there's a kid lying in bed at Camp Crystal Lake, <laughs> and he is reading No Exit by Sartre, right? Jean-Paul Sartre, the French existentialist. And then you cut to a hamster in a wheel, and then you cut to Jason. And it's like, you know... it's like, I mean, it's ridiculous, right? But it's like, as this child is reading... The, a play, with the whole philosophy of which is summed up in the line, hell is other people, and then you cut to a hamster that cannot escape this wheel that it's running in, and then you cut to Jason, who is like the ultimate harbinger of death, who cannot be escaped, and it's like the whole movie is about like mortality, and the fact that even these children at some point will die, and it, it maybe Jason will kill them, but something is going to get them. Mm. And, but it's just funny as hell. It's a good movie. It works really well. You mentioned the Universal Monsters thing, like it's obviously like, it's a, it's a good movie. aware of like Frankenstein and stuff like that. It's just so good fun kills fun characters memorable it's good so there you go there's our list so who's do you think is better is it wills Obviously. and i think we'll post Obviously. we'll post a list somewhere on instagram um, or below in the comments yeah so and can... well tell us let what you think like give yeah, us, let your us know list. what is your list let us know because if we, if we get enough comments we could actually do we could like do a points tally count them up and be That'd like be this fun. is the definitive what everyone thinks it'd be, list. It'd be fun i mean so i mean i'm guessing our viewers will have a list that'll enrage both of us but well we'll do the thing of like you know like a 10 jason ten, x will be one place and... vote <laughs> is worth one point ninth place is worth two points like that yeah, yeah. but then i'll wait mine so it's worth uh, 100 points uh, 200 points because he's afraid his <laughs> um, list will lose uh so that was our ranking so there you go. yeah uh, Happy Halloween, I guess. It's enjoy the list. Let soon us know or think. today yeah. or whenever, whenever we post, we post this. this. It's it's close to Halloween close, now, so yeah. it'll be soon. And uh, uh, this has been a terrible infant production, and we'll see you next time. Have a good one. <laughs>